Thank you for the pitching uh, pitching opportunity. I'm Eric, CEO of DOT. Let me start the presentation and introduction introduction of our company. Uh, DOT is a social impact company. We are a certified B corporation. Um, we're based in Seoul, uh, Washington, DC. And we have 32 employees right now and we have 114 patents globally. We are really a technology focused company and we plan to do IPO in 2023. What we do is very simple. We um, innovate uh, the lives of the 100 million blind people uh, in education, jobs, and entertainment. Um, I studied in University of Washington, and I, when I when I was in there, I became a Christian, and um, I saw this big Braille Bible book at the time. So, um, you know, there are over one, 285 million uh, visually impaired people around the world, but like they have significant problem to access uh, paper data and all the data on the webs right now. Um, many researchers in many universities try to innovate uh, this market, such as like bringing, um, you know, Braille tablets, uh, like, you know, you can see in here and then Braille smartphone, but everyone failed. Um, no one actually succeeded. And we, uh, so we, it's, so we, we established our company in 2015 and we have three products right now. One is Dotpad, which is our main product uh, that shows that, you know, that can enable graphics and Braille uh, both time for blind people. And the second product is Dot Braille Smartwatch, which is the first smartwatch for blind people like an Apple Watch uh, with the Braille display. Um, our you know the major product called a dot pad is kind of one of a kind, um, which is on the left side as you can see, this is the only solution right now until now. So um, you can read one line by line. You can only read text, and it's called Braille display, and it costs about five thousand dollars. This is actually the main you know main reason that I started. Um, I I met, I met my friends in there and the, uh, in, in the University of Washington and. She 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 used really expensive this braille display and still is really expensive and we are innovating this through bringing like um, maybe you guys remember the Macintosh when the, the first PC uh, based on GUI first came out and then uh, people can access the graphics and all the Excel's and presentation those kind of things and we are bringing that to the uh, 285 million uh, blind people all over the world. So through our technology, you know, blind people can access graphics and they can do many productivity tools or educations. And right now we are innovating education part. So we are a partner with the US government and we are bringing this technology to the US uh, blind students from 2022. And we got a contract about $30 million for over uh, three years. And this is how, you know, the blind students study right now. And, um, but we are innovating this through our technology. And we're also collaborating with uh, Samsung to make more affordable, um, you know, the graphic enable uh, tactile device for blind people. And also we're collaborating with the Microsoft team. So we are innovating this market that completely different and com uh, completely um, innovative solution uh, to take over all the b market um, and, uh, Based on the U.S. contract, we are expanding this to South Korea, uh, China, and Japan right now. Um, the second thing that we are doing is we are innovating the smart city infrastructures. Uh, if you see the smart city, uh, you know there are many parts, but like there is inclusive smart city far, part, um, which is for giving full accessibility in every core services for disabled people and elder people and foreigners. We utilize our technology to help more disabled people and uh, socially disadvantaged people. Um, we um, navigated this um, old infra, which is not helpful for special needs, which is not smart enough. So we are bringing our smart technology to uh, innovate this market. So if you see this an image, the first step we have taken was guaranteeing mobility rights for all. Is launching dot kiosk. Dot kiosk integrates the dot display with a range of other accessibility technologies 
to create an inclusive information delivery system. 제가 가려고 하는 지하철 역사의 여러 가지 다양한 정보들을 촉각 지도를 통해서 명확히 알려주고 있어서 되게 유용했다고 생각합니다. 보통 사람들부터 취재 받으니까 많이 힘들었죠. 좀 높거나 이랬으니까. 근데 지금 이 키오스크는 딱제 키의 높이에 맞춰서 내려오니까. So because of the time, I just you know cut up the uh, video. But like this is our technology has. We bring not just for blind people. We bring the technology for hearing impaired people and physically impaired people and even elderly people and foreigners. So we had a chance to bring this technology in Busan of South Korea. Uh, we, right now, we are expanding uh, this technology to the 120 station in Busan. We are installing our barrier-free kiosk with the mobility uh, impaired navigation. So Eric? We, we are. Eric, you have you have another couple of seconds. To draw inclusive. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Finish. Finish your sentence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, we are expanding this uh, as inclusive smart city infrastructures in Busan, and we are uh, expanding tests in France, Hong Kong, and Qatar right now. And uh, we plan to do um, you know, in New York City too. Not just for the smart city, we are expanding this technology to the many government buildings. There are many needs. Um, the government building need to renovate their uh, infrastructures to help uh, inclusive people, inclusivity. So we are bringing, um, you know, the accessibility in every area of our um, industry, not just device, uh, but to the infrastructures. Thank you very much. muted. Sorry. Um, thank you very much uh, to Eric from Dot Incorporation. Um, by the way, kudos for Eric for getting up at three o'clock in the morning at his time. Um, so, but questions from the panelists? I have one actually. It's okay. Han Ko here. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay. Right, thank you. Uh, Eric, um, great product actually. Um, I do have some knowledge in this industry. Um, so I have a question and comment actually. The question is that uh, I don't know too much about your product yet, but uh, uh, you know, like the big giant like Microsoft uh, got a, like a, what they call the eyes first and Amazon have uh, like show and tell, right? And then, uh, you know, so how, how is your product? Uh, I know you have some specific hardware stuff, but how would you know, how are you gonna approach the market um, in, in competition with uh, whatever existing uh, in the industry? Um, where, you know, right now, the startup that can bring uh, a tactile uh, screen, which is like a monitor for us, you know, what we see is only us right now. So uh, this year and the uh, next year is really important for us. So right now we are working with uh, Samsung um, and uh, Microsoft and also a very big company, uh, uh, in in the in the U.S. that we we cannot say, but um, we're collaborating with a lot of big companies right now to bring our technology, uh, specifically designed for you know their products. So for example, Samsung has their product and we are we designed for them. So basically, uh, the blind user who can who, who are using Samsung uh, product, they can also use our product without any problems. Uh, we we are doing that right now, and also we are. Uh, our first target right now is the education sector. So basically we got the US in a government contract and then we are expanding this contract to the South Korea, Japan and uh, Europe market. So basically uh, this education alone is $700 million market annually. So we think this is really good opportunity for us since there are no technology. And while we are providing our you know, hardwares, we we're not just do that into the hardware part, we are bringing our, um, you know, uh, you know, the, the software that can translate every, uh, you know, text data and graphic data to uh, our screen. So this is a fundamental engine and we are monetizing this right now. So we are expect not just hardware uh, revenue, but also the software revenue. Yeah, gotcha. um, again, the comment is that, you know, the Harvard has um, uh, astronomy uh, lab. And they're not just focusing on astronomy. Uh, they're focusing on uh, visually impaired. There's some research going on. Maybe we should talk offline. Also, I have a, uh, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm bilingual Korean as well. Okay. I live in USA, but I have office in Seoul. 
maybe you should talk offline so I can maybe help you to in ways to uh, uh, you know work in these markets. Okay, thank you.